Hey guys, my name's Meg Wazinski, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about how you can fit coaching into your schedule. Now, from the beginning of my coaching career six and a half years ago until now, I've gone through a lot of different schedules. When I first signed up, I was only 22. Um, I just graduated from college. I had a lot of free time. Um, I was going to school full time for my master's but and working as an assistant, but I had so much free time and I did not do anything with the business. So I really do believe that when people have a crazy busy schedule, it's almost easier because you know you have to fit it in during a certain time. Um, it took until I had my first full-time job to figure that out and I would get up you know, before work and work a little bit um, during my lunch hour and then at nighttime, um, just fitting in two or three hours per day. Now I have a different routine. Um, I am a new mom. Tenley's two and a half months, uh, crazy how, how fast it goes. And I had to really figure out how to fit in coaching. You know, it was for the first time in my life that I really had to look at my priorities and figure out how am I going to make this work because this business is what has, you know, helped my family have the kind of life that we have. Um, you know, my husband only works two days a week. Um, I work full time as a coach, um, but you probably all know with a newborn, it's very hard to have a routine. So for me, I have a list of things that I do every single day. You'll hear some of the other coaches in the videos talk about power hours. Well, when you have a newborn, it's not so easy to get one hour block down um, without the little one waking up, right? Unless you have someone there to help you. So if you do have someone who can help you for an hour to just fit everything in, awesome. If there's days where, you know, you're like me and you're on your own um, and you have to be able to fit it in, what I do is I have that to-do list of everything I need to do that would be in a power hour. So I'm um, sending messages messages, um, talking to new people, posting on my social media, doing my workouts, drinking my Shakeology, um, doing my personal development, you know, all of the things that make up a power hour, which you would get when you signed up. Um, and what I do is if Tenley's sleeping, I hop on the computer, I have that list right in front of me, and I get done as much as I can. I also make sure that I'm very focused. You know, I turn on my timer, um, sounds crazy, um, and I set it for 10 minutes, and obviously I turn the alarm very low so she doesn't wake up, um, but I have it set so that I do each of the sections on my power hour um, for 10 minutes if she lets me. Um, go for the whole hour. If not, you know, I do as much as I can. And then the minute that she wakes up, I pause, um, go and, and help her, you know, cuddle and, and feed her and change her diaper and stuff like that. And then when she goes to sleep again, I hop back on the computer. Um, for those of you that are full-time um, working moms, this is the same idea. You have a list of things that you have to get done and you just fit it into your schedule. You're very open, you know, with your spouse or significant other and just say, hey, I need to make sure that I make this work. You know, I, it always makes we laugh when people say, how can you fit this in with a newborn? When it's a priority, when it's something important to you, you get it done. You know, it's just like if you're trying to lose weight and that's one of your top priorities, you're not going to miss your workouts, right? You're going to make sure that you have the time to get your workouts in and to be able to eat healthy right? This business is the same way. It's, you know, nothing that's crazy extreme that you have to do um, at a certain amount of time every single day. The cool thing about this business is it's flexible to your schedule, okay? So sometimes when I'm up at 4 a.m. feeding my baby, I'm responding back to messages or I'm listening to personal development or I'm doing something so that when we actually get up for the day, I've already got that, that crossed off my list, you know? And I do know that with a child, things are going to continue to change, but because I have that list, um, I know that I'm able to stay focused. Um, our, our team has accomplished a lot before I had the child and I continue to, uh, you know, reach for those goals and help my team. We have a lot of new moms and they're doing things, um, that I never thought was possible with a newborn. You know, they're blowing me out of the water at how much they can do with this business with having a new baby. So if you guys have any questions on, you know, having a newborn and being able to fit it in, feel free to comment below in this section and we'll get them answered. Hopefully um, this helps and I will also attach my to-do list in this, in this post. You'll see it right there. Okay, bye guys.